How you guys doing? Scott Rogers, former Notre Dame goaltender, current Ohio Machine goaltender. I'm here at Goals in Baltimore, Maryland to do a little Brian instructional video about picking up the ball and the different angles of the shot. All right, so when picking up a shot with the shooter, as Ben just talked about, okay, he's trying, it's a cat and mouse game between he, he and I. Okay, he's trying to hide the ball, I'm trying to pick the ball up. So when I'm looking for a shot, I don't want to tip my hand and duck or move to pick up that shot. Okay, so what I want to do is hold my ground, okay, hold my stands, not move, no wasted movement, okay, because as Ben said, he wants me, okay, to get, he wants to catch me moving, all right, and I want to not move, so it's a cat and mouse game. So for me, okay, the less movement, the better. So when the shooter's moving, I want to move on a precise arc, okay, so for me, I know exactly what steps and what angles I need to take, whether it be turning my left foot a little bit this way, tweaking it back here, okay, to keep my movements short and precise within the six by six. Now that's going to help me, A, cover angles, okay, and B, not waste any movement and give that shooter an opportunity to shoot as I'm moving. So my whole thing is be set for the shot. And you'll hear that from your youth coaches, from your high school coaches, college, professional. Be set for the shot, no wasted movement. Don't drop your hands. Don't hit your hands at your hips, all right? So for me, my rule is eye thumb, okay? So for young goalies especially, if you ever see the top of your stick, that's an issue, okay? Because you're not gonna be able to get across here, all right, very consistently. So what I like to do is always see my thumb in the corner of my eye, out of my peripheral vision, okay, and now I'm set, all right? So now when I move, as long as I can see my thumb, okay, my stick's at the perfect level, all right? So I'm always looking for my eye thumb, okay? That's the level I'm looking for. So right there I know, pre-shot, if someone like Co Coach Ruby is shooting, okay, and I drop my hands and my, my thumb goes below my eyes, I'm in a bad spot, all right? So right there I know, eye thumb, hold, 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 okay, and I'm in a good situation for the shot, all right? A next point that's very key, especially for a youth goalie or a middle school goalie, high school goalie, okay, is knowing the probability of a shot. Now, if a big guy, okay, comes down, splits lefty or splits righty, he's going to have an alley, okay? So we say take him down the alley, okay? As a goalie, what we'll do if a guy splits from middle to the left or the right is I'll move with him, with the dodge. Now, my point today is not to run into this pipe. So most goalies will do this, run into this pipe and shrink, okay? Giving that shooter that far pipe, that far triangle, okay? What I like to do is trail the shooter by a step. So when I trail the dodge by a step. So when the dodger dodges and splits, I don't move on his first step, okay? I trail him by a half a second, half a step, and then I move. So now I'm always on that back pipe. So as he's going full speed down the alley, I'm sitting on that back pipe and I'm able to get to here rather than go with him, get here, and now I'm stuck and he can still far, paint that far pipe, okay? So that goes both sides. Trail the shooter by a step, split down the alley, don't be in a hurry to get there, okay? You want to actually, the less movement the better, going off of point one, okay? So I, I see it, I evaluate, turn that left foot, hold, 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 then I could go with him. I'm always trailing him so I could get to that far pipe okay, and give myself an opportunity to get to one of those hardest shots for me, low and away, which is down here. Okay, I'm six foot four, all right, so for me to get down here, I gotta give myself a little bit of an edge, all right? So we're always trying to get that cat and, cat and mouse game with the shooter down. So if, Co if Coach Ben splits from the middle, and he splits to his left, from my left, okay, as he dodges, I'm gonna trail him, one, two, now I can square up, and now stop, okay? Coach Ben, what do you have here? Not much, okay? Because I trailed him, I'm not on this pipe, I'm not small, I'm not showing him that far pipe, but yet, I'm off the pipe, I'm making the shooter, therefore, shoot a very hard shot, which is near side, on the run, all his momentum's going downhill, he would have to push the ball, okay, to this near side to get it, to sting it, okay? And that's usually stick side high for a lefty, okay? Now if coach goes back up top, splits to my right, I'm gonna have to trail, 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 but I also have to be conscious, stop, of that near side shot because it's my off stick. So for me, I gotta kinda be conscious and know that there's a good chance that Coach Ben is gonna go for my ear, off stick ear. So I have to know that, hold my ground, and be able to explode to a shot, okay? 
So knowing that, my movements are very precise. I always have that in the back of my head. Where are his shots? So Coach Ben splits to the right, bang, stop. So in my head, I'm going near side, five hole, off stick low, a good opportunity shots for Coach Ben. Okay, I also know stick side, I'm very good here to here, so I'm not gonna be too overly protective of it, but I have to watch my ear, I have to watch my five hole, because a good shooter like Coach Ben is gonna come downhill, shoot overhand, and he can snap that ball, okay, five hole, and score a goal, okay? So for me, okay, I have to know that without dropping my hands, okay, because then he sticks it stick side high, Okay, so if I cheat, I'm done, okay? And if I don't cheat, okay, I have to know that there's a good chance he's gonna snap that bad boy five hole. So it's a cat and mouse game. Nobody can tip their hands here because he's gonna take advantage of the goalie. The goalie usually loses in that situation.